All right, what's going on guys? In this video, we're making some crack burgers, the new trendy thing on YouTube that I've been seeing the past couple weeks. Uh, a few of the channels that I watch all the time have been making these crack burgers. They look pretty interesting and I wanna try them out for myself. They seem a little bit gimmicky, but still, I just wanna see how it is. The only difference with my crack burgers is we're gonna fire up the smoker, I got the offset going. We're gonna throw these on there, we're gonna get a good smoke on these half pound patties. We're gonna sear them off. We're gonna throw on some good old fake ass American cheese. And then we're gonna have ourselves some smoked crack burgers. So essentially what we're doing here on the Ryan Geary YouTube channel today is we're smoking crack. Stick around guys, check it out, here we go. All right, so very briefly, I just wanna go over the ingredients that we're gonna use for this burger today. I got some ground beef right there. Usually you always wanna do 80-20 ground beef or like get a chuck roast and ground that up. This is 85-15, um, but it's really not gonna matter that much just because we're throwing a bunch of fat in there. We got some bacon, got some sharp cheddar cheese that I'm gonna grate up and throw in there. I got some sour cream and I got a packet of ranch. So this is the stuff that they're using. This is what you're supposed to use. I know a lot of people are gonna say that this is like a freaking meatloaf burger. Um, I agree, but it is what it is. I'm just doing this for food science purposes. So here we go. All right, so all I'm gonna do is get a bowl, throw that meat in there, get like four pieces of bacon, rough chop. All this other stuff I'm kind of eyeballing. I mean, I got the one packet of ranch, I'm throwing the whole packet in there. This is uh, 11 grams, 0.4 ounces. Sharp cheddar cheese. I'm not gonna go crazy with the sour cream just because I, the other channels that I've watched, um, some of the burgers get a little bit loose and I don't want it to get like that, so. Also, since there's not really any rules to this burger, I'm gonna throw a serrano chili in there just because I put serranos in everything, so why not? Now all you gotta do is get your hands in there, mix it up pretty good. I didn't put any salt or pepper in here just because I'm gonna season these right before I put them on the smoker. Also, the bacon's really salty. It's probably a bunch of sodium in that ranch packet, so it's gonna be okay. There we go, got everything mixed up. All right, so what I got here is a Weber Burger Press made famous by Chud's Barbecue. I'm gonna be using this on the half pound setting. Got some patty wax. All I'm gonna do is put some wax down. Getting like half of that mixture for one patty. About half a pound. It's gonna be huge. There you go, big ass patty. All right, so while I fire up the smoker, I'm gonna throw these in the fridge just to let everything kind of solidify. Should take about 30, maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And then we're gonna throw them on the smoker. All right, it's been about 30 minutes later. These are a little sticky. That's why I wanted to watch out with the sour cream. All right, looks, still looks pretty good. All right, so a little kosher salt. Not gonna go crazy with it, because I'm pretty sure it's pretty salty in there. So I got some coarse ground black pepper. And that good peppery bite. So the smoker's ready to go. I got it between 250 and 275. I want to keep it around there. Um, I'm gonna put both of these burgers on. Um, after about 30 minutes, I'm gonna put a temperature probe in there. I wanted to get it between like 125 and 130. I don't mind if it's a little more overcooked than medium um, because you know it's from the store. It's ground beef from the store, which is fine. If I ground the meat myself, then I'd probably have a medium burger, but a little more on the well done side, not a big deal. So I'm gonna let these go. And when they're done smoking, we're gonna sear them up. what we're looking like out of like it's only been like 30 40 minutes it's reading 128 i'm just gonna double check yeah this is this little one it's ready to come off this bigger one just a little bit more time all 
All right, so I'd say about 40 minutes on the smoker. Didn't take too long at all. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna saute some onions to throw on the burger. I'm gonna let these sit here just for a minute. Saute the onions. I'm gonna put a little bit of mayo and sriracha on the bun. Toast them up. That's pretty much it. Just gonna make this burger. Slap on some fake ass American cheese. It's gonna be delicious. So here we go. <laughs> So there it is guys, the smoked and seared crack burger. Just a little bit of mayo, a little bit of sriracha on the bottom, I didn't want to put too much. It's pretty well done, which I don't even care about. That's super good. That's really good. Taste the bacon, you taste the cheese, you taste the real cheese and the fake cheese, or a processed cheese. A little bit of that ranch is coming through. Has a little bit of like a fast food flavor to it, but something a little bit different. If you're stuck in your ways, this is probably not the thing for you, but if you want to try something a little bit different, try it out. I recommend it. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. See you on the next video. Peace out.